Hey boys and gals, this is Big Bad Wolf Moto. Today we're going to be installing the uh, Diamond Black Collection lead fuel gauge on my Road King Special. I've also gotten the, uh, the fuel cap for the other side and uh, we're going to get rid of this bright chrome and we're going to be installing these as the bag is uh, blacked out and uh, they're going to look a lot better. Let's do this. The fuel gauge is connected with a wire that goes down underneath the gas tank close to the engine and it's connected with a plug that you can see right here. We're going to have to unplug this and then disconnect the cables, probably take the pins out of the housing so it can pass through the gas tank and uh, we can get it off the bike. Let's take the existing plug out. You have to hold it close to the wires on the top part and on the bottom because it doesn't give you much space to hold it from. And pull. There we go. The plug is out. Let's take a look and see what's in the box exactly. We have instructions in the box. And in this bag. We have the cap. Looks pretty good to me. The three pins. Good thing they're not on the plug already, so they can go through the gas tank. Here are the three wires, an orange, a black, and a yellow. And also, we have the new plug inside the box. Excellent. So we can pass our wires through the gas tank, and uh, we connect the plug after we come out on the bottom and we're ready to plug the new uh, system back on the bike. But before we do that, we're going to have to remove the uh, chrome uh, uh, gas cap from the gas tank. Let's give it a shot. Twist counterclockwise. Pull up and there we go it's out but let's take those pins out of the housing first before I remove the pins I'm gonna take a picture just to make sure that I remember the order in which they're going so from the left it's black the second port there is nothing the third is yellow and then the fourth is orange ready to take them out now so uh, I'm gonna use a very very fine Allen bit the smallest I can find about uh, about a sixteenth I guess of an inch and I'm gonna use that to push out the pins from the housing and there we go we have removed the housing from the pins and I have to say, that probably took longer than the whole install will. But you have to be careful, don't destroy the pins. I could have cut them, I could have cut the wires right here, saved myself a lot of trouble. But after all, why should I destroy this uh, very original gauge here? Alright, so this is done. 
Now it's time to remove the old gauge and put in the new one. There we go. The original gauge is out. Let's go for the new one. So we'll pass the wires first through the gas tank. You see fins are naked, they don't have the housing yet. That's the only way they're gonna go through. So we put the wires through the gas tank until they pop from the other side. And they have. Put the gauge over there for now. And we're gonna go connect the plug. Before we do that, I'm gonna put this little flexible tube that was originally around the wires obviously to protect them from the from the heat of the engine. There we go. And now we are ready to install the housing onto the uh, pins. And you have to be careful the way you hold the uh, the housing upwards that has these grooves on the one side, opposite from the side where the clip is. And the pins also have some sort of a, the way they're soldered, they're straight on the one side and the other side they make a, some kind of a, a groove. This one has to be upwards. So, second hole nothing, third hole the yellow. We're pushing the clips into place. And then the last hole to the right will be the orange. Make sure they're all clicked into place. They look good from the front. And then we'll close that little clip that the housing has on the other side. So they're secured into place. Now we're ready. Put the two pieces together under the tank of the bike. You can see the original, the metal part of the plug that comes from the battery. And here we have the new housing that we connected um, with a new fuel gauge. So we're going to put them together. Click. And we should be ready to rock. Let's push the wires back into place. It's in place. We had just to push it down and it clips into place. Turn it a little clockwise and we're good. Now, let's put the one on the other side. Take this one off. and put the new one there we go both caps into place and now it's the moment of truth to see if this baby works on the bike See, we've got half a tank of gas. The LEDs look like they're flickering in the camera, but in reality they're not flickering. So everything is good. So there we go. The Black Diamond Collection LED fuel caps on the Black Dad Road King. Thank you so much for watching guys, this is Big Bad Wolf Moto and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Until then, be happy, be safe and take care of yourselves. See you later my friends.